Welcome back, guys. We call, Haley called this guy. He agreed to take us, drive us there. The tour starts at 12 o'clock. Right now it's 11.55. We paid him, we're sitting in the van. Sweet ass time. And he's just like lollygagging. That was our ride. We took a bus here from Mostar. So the bus left at 10. The woman who sold us the tickets said it would take an hour. It took about an hour and a half. We go to buy the tickets to the bunker. That place was closed, so we like scrambled, found this guy, and he brought us here. This is the nondescript bunker. They picked this town, the town of Konyi, as the site of the bunker because of how isolated it is. It sits on this river, and it's in this, this mountainous valley. So it was really, really secluded, but they could get supplies here, and it was really easy to defend. I honestly didn't think we were gonna make it here at the 12 o'clock one. Yeah, neither did I. My phone comes in handy. There's some interesting things we learned. It took like 26 years to build. Every shift that went by, there was someone died while building the bunker. It costs about 10 billion US dollars today. Everything here is original and authentic. soldier's dorm room. You know, you got your bunk bed, your desk to do Tito's dirty work. No windows, no sunlight. The only is supposed to hold 350 people. No families, just the most important people. Meeting no. It's like the University of Tito. Oh, this room is nicer than a lot of the rooms in my old university. Hang out with, hang out with your roommates. You know, watch some good old Tito propaganda. I mean, was he, yeah, in today's world, people think he's a dictator, but back then, they just thought he was president. The quality of life was better when Bosnia was part of Yugoslavia versus today. We're entering Tito's block of the bunker. So it goes up another level, it has its own separate ventilation system, and it houses the generals and really high-ranking military and party officials. So in the event of like a nuclear war, all the presidents of the six former Yugoslav republics, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, and Macedonia, no Albania. So the presidents of those republics would come and they each had their own room. These are their rooms. These would have been their rooms. So much bigger. This was Tito's office. Yes, absolutely. It's a nice place he's got here. So Tito gets the big bed. And they took five years. 
It's kind of a day. Full tub, an own big personal water heater. Got his ashtray. I guess you could do worse. I'd stay here. I remember this place was finished in 1979 and Tito died the next year in 1980. So they're not sure if he actually ever came here. This was the spy room. I'm not quite sure if it was spying on people in the bunker or I guess if there was a nuclear war. Maybe there wouldn't be so much to spy on out there. I'm really glad we came. We just got back from ARK slash D0, AKA Atomic War Command, AKA Tito's Bunker. And fun fact, D0 means top secret. Like super duper secret. It was never really used. Mm -hmm. There were 16 soldiers who like were stationed there to maintain it and keep it operational. And so when the war started happening, uh, Belgrade sent a message to them telling them to like destroy the bunker. The oil tankers or those tanks of oil, they were ordered to rig explosives under it, then leave and then they would remote detonate it. And so 14 of the soldiers left and the other two that were supposed to like rig the explosives just decided not to. Mm -hmm. So they saved it. Oh, we got a friend. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. The city's super cute. It's full of nature. It's nestled in this valley. You can go rafting, you go to the bunker. There's mountains. There's a bunch of cute stray dogs everywhere. Yeah, They're really a, cute. A lot of a lot of puppies Haley wants to take home. Yeah. Yeah, it's well this picture that says we at it. Do you speak English? No. Nah. Nah. What is your name? Name? Zach? Zach. I'm Zach. Haley. My name, Haley. Mosanas. Mosanas? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, I guess we're going to hang out with our new friend, Mosanas. Mm -hmm. 